Hi YouTube, my name is Sherry and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Recto Verso card holder and I have mine in the Damier Abine with the Rose Ballerine. Let's see if that'll show. And I'm going to be comparing this with my Rosalie coin purse here. And this is in the monogram print with the Rose Ballerine. Alright, so I know I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube comparing the Recto Verso with the Victorine wallet and with the key pouch, which I do have one right here. So for comparison purposes, I will be showing you a little bit of comparison with this as well as the longer wallets that Louis Vuitton offer. Okay, so let me talk about the Recto Verso and kind of give you an idea of this wallet. This wallet has this envelope style flap on the front, comes with the fabric leather button or leather button, not fabric, but leather. You open it like so, and it has this small compartment here where you can stick uh, coupons, you can stick tickets. Let's say you're parking, you wanna put a parking ticket here, you have receipts you need to keep uh, on hand right here. You wanna put some type of cards or ID, you can put that right here. And on the back, it has these extra slots where you can put cards and things in these slots. And you also have this pocket right here where you can put your ID to make that convenient for you to grab and go. I really love this feature of the wallet that the cards are exposed to where you can get to them. And like the key pouch, it does have this zipper feature here. You open that up and then you have this chain here that you can use to hang your keys on. You can use this as a bag charm on your bags. You can hang it inside of your bags to have easy access to this. So one of the things that I love about this wallet is that it is compartmentalized. So you have a lot of different features where you can get to things and you can kind of know where your things are in this right here. So for those of you that love organization, you love to keep things a little bit structured, you love to have a place for everything, this right here would be the ideal compact wallet for you, okay? Now, when we talk about the Rosalie coin purse, one of the things that I do love about this is that it has this envelope style but it's the softer curves. And one of the things that drew me to this was I feel like curves like this sometimes are very feminine. So I'm drawn to things like this, but I love the envelope style of this. I love the symmetry that that offers on pieces like this, okay? So when you open it up, it's just one large compartment and you do have compartmentalization where you can put cards here, a card here and then you have this little zip coin pouch where you can put coins you can fold up something and stick that there so while this wallet is an open style wallet it still offers you some compartmentalization or some separation of your items that you want to put in here and you still can kind of have a place for everything if you want this wallet okay now in comparing it to the key pouch you have this small little pouch here. It has the zipper feature on it. And then it does have this chain where you can use this as a bag charm. You can hang it outside of your bags, on the inside of your bag, easy access. You can put tons of cards in here. You can use this for a coin holder. You can use this for cash. This right here has endless possibilities. I've seen people use this for makeup and all different types of things. Put lipsticks in here. And, and whatnot, eyes and in, hairpins, different things like that, okay? So you don't get any comp any separation with your items with this here, but if you are one who just needs something to hold things, then this right here would be ideal for you, okay? And you have your larger wallets that Louis Vuitton offer. Maybe you are someone who likes to take everything with you. You have to have everything on you at all times because you just hate to forget something or you hate to be without something. And you like having areas where you can put things and have things the long way. You don't like to fold your cash. 
you know, you want to be able to keep your cash and your coins on you at all times, then of course a longer wallet would be ideal for you. Now in terms of price points, when we look at all of these four that I have, and I'll put them up side by side here, or as side by side as I can get, <laughs> you have all of these four. When you look at the price points of them, this Recto Verso is $600 is five hundred and ninety dollars okay so this is five hundred and ninety dollars this one right here is right now the most expensive on the website but because I have a limited edition Emily wallet this is the blooms wallet and it's limited edition because it has this little blooms feature on it right there so because this was a limited edition this wallet actually cost me more than the recto verso this cost me six hundred and twenty five dollars versus the standard emily wallets are only i think 545 on the website so when you look at getting a longer wallet compared to the recto verso i think that the emily wallet price wise is obviously better than the recto verso but so many people are moving to smaller handbags so many people are reducing what they're carrying on their persons just to kind of reduce the weight be to be more on the go so they're looking for more of these options right here and of course Louis Vuitton is going to capitalize on that and make things smaller and they're gonna cost more all right when you look at this obviously this one is the least inexpensive out of all the options this one cost two hundred and seventy dollars currently on the website and if you can find these in used condition or pre-love you'll still probably pay almost the same price because these are highly sought after and they're very they're in very high demand so if you tend to do find one you might end up paying more than what you're paying at the Louis Vuitton boutique because a lot of people who are reselling Louis Vuitton items are charging more than what they would cost on the websites but if you can get these from the boutique in terms of price this one has the best price at two hundred and seventy dollars and then this one has the next best price at four hundred dollars this piece when i bought it was three hundred and seventy dollars it is currently four hundred and holding at four hundred i do highly recommend this piece for someone who wants to get an entry level type of wallet you still want to keep it small but you want something really cute really nice and that's going to be long wearing hard wearing this right here would be the option that i would suggest for those of you who have the budget and you are really intrigued, you really like the Recto Verso, the amount is not a problem for you, definitely go for this option. I really do like this because I feel like it offers so many of the features of the current options that they have like this. And I'll show some of those options if I can to just kind of compare how they've taken a lot of their wallets that they have individualized and they've put all of those features on here as like a one-stop shop type of wallet okay and then of course you have this wallet which is a little bit less expensive than this so this one would be number three in terms of cost for the regular Emily wallet and this one would be number four at 590 all right so what are the pros and the cons of these they're really depends on your lifestyle cons of this one is really at the moment for some people the size some people don't want to carry around larger wallets one other con of this is that it could be this doesn't have enough card slots right here so this is really the size and the card slots as the cons that some people may have for this cons of this some people may feel that this needs a back pocket on the outside just to keep you from having to get into it I agree with that I think if this had a back pocket on it that would make this one here a lot more attractive to some people other than that I really don't have any cons about this wallet right here uh, so I really do love this and this does have a pocket right here I did miss that one earlier okay so really no cons about this honestly for all of these items if you want something nice but you don't want just the typical little zip pouch this one has the best price and the best functionality if you want a Louis Vuitton wallet or a card holder or something that is like multi-functional okay and then of course 
if your budget allows and you really are intrigued by this wallet and you love the pink then this right here would be another option to get in terms of wallets all right so if you have any questions on any of these items definitely leave it down below or leave me a comment and i'll be sure to respond thank you all for watching this video i hope you all subscribe to my channel and continue to follow me on this channel i really do appreciate those of you who have subscribed thank you and i'll see you all in the next video Alrighty, bye